talking about social determinants of health and how it impacts overall health in people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. So the first big category is that of economic stability and employment. So we know that if we have a job, um, we are more off, will often have some sort of health coverage or, or health insurance that might be associated with it. Or if we have a, have money and we have an income, we have the ability to purchase good health care, right? So, you know, when we look at overall employment in people with IDD, about 81% of people with IDD do not have a paid job in the community. So there, there is an impact there on access to health insurance and health coverage. Um, what's interesting, though, is, you know, you might think maybe the pandemic had something related to this, but really that that percentage has remained relatively unchanged over the past 10 years. We really haven't made much progress in terms of having people have community-based paid jobs. Many states still allow people with IDD to be paid a sub-minimum wage, which you know, has its pluses and minuses. There are pluses and minuses to everything, right? But certainly, I think we should advocate for people um, who work, whether they have intellectual disabilities or not, to be paid at least the minimum wage. And volunteering uh, is something that's often considered in people with IDD that um, is a good thing to do, and it certainly is a good thing for all of us to do. But volunteering really doesn't have an impact on a person's income or, or financial status. So when we look at employment uh, issues and um, in that particular area of, of a social determinant of health, we see that people with IDD may be falling behind a little bit. So we need to do what we can to help improve employment, um, employment abilities, paid employment abilities with a good, good wage for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We'll talk more about other social determinants of health, health on ne the next episode. Thank you.